Yeah, hi everyone, and um, uh, apologies for probably not being uh, completely up to date with emails in the last fortnight. It's been a very hectic time. We've been in Sydney and uh, just over to Perth for the yearling sales and uh, a little trip down to Launceston next weekend, and uh, there's a couple more to go yet, plus Adelaide. So um, it's a hard time of year for trainers, as you probably hear all the time, but it uh, makes it very difficult to be in two places at once, and um, uh, we need to um, just keep replenishing for the next season if possible. Um, We've uh, been a bit selective, but we've, uh, I'm very happy with what we've done. We've uh, picked up a, an incredibly well-priced uh, scissor kit with just a little bit left in that one, and um, he's, um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great sort of uh, athletic type of horse and uh, would think that he'll um, possibly be a, a nice two-year-old. He, uh, they sold incredibly well, so to pick him up as we did was fantastic. New season sire from a uh, very good sort from uh, New Zealand, Extravagant. Uh, we've got a filly there that's coming through and she'll be advertised very soon. She was even cheaper. She was uh, a bargain basement buy. And I went on an interesting exercise last week too. I just got back today actually from uh, the Perth sales. And um, as you're probably aware, there's some very good horses come out of Perth every year. But the uh, the problem there is that most of the horses are, um, uh, are bought and trained and, and kept in Western Australia. And uh, you don't see very many of them at all. And uh, my, my target was to find something that was particularly uh, Western Australia bred. And um, I purchased a, a horse by a new season sire called Rommel who was a very good horse uh, trained by Neville Parnham in New Zealand uh, in in Western Australia uh, and he came over here and won the Zedative and uh, Neville Neville claimed he was one of the best horses he's ever trained and uh, you can't take that without with a grain of salt because he's had some of the, the best horses around and um, uh, injury curtailed his uh, career and uh, he went to stud his um, his crop that he threw th that I saw at the sales was sensational they just caught everyone's eye straight away they were, they were big sellers and um, I bought one off the breeder the breeder's a lovely man and he stands at stallion he stands a couple of stallions over there and um, spent some time with him and um, he was uh, terrific to me that horse was purchased and uh, we'll go back to the farm over there for a couple of weeks before coming over here um, um, he's a top-notch colt, I'm sure of that, and um, it, it's great for them and great for me to have something sort of out of left field over here. And uh, he'll be uh, he'll be put out pretty soon, so he'll be very well worth considering. Um, uh, we'll go to the other sales and have a little look. We'll be a little bit um, uh, conservative in what we do this season, just to make sure that we're uh, we've got everything where we want it and uh, right the, buy the right ones. The more we like, the, the, you know, if we really like them, we'll be getting them. If we don't, we don't. So. Um, Still a few few sort of sales to go to and a bit of hard work to go, but um, thanks for your support there and uh, looking forward to the season. All the last season's two-year-olds are coming up great now and you'll see them as late two-year-olds, early three-year-olds and they'll be the um, the uh, the flagship for the stable for the next 12 to 18 months as we push forward. So thank you for that and I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the, the trip with all the, uh, the videos and emails that we do.